Genevieve, uh, his assistant, have done amazing work because we were uh, only going to raise $100,000 and now we're up around $650,000. And this enables us to not only develop the very best new neural phone for the market, but also to pay for some scientific research on the effects on the brain, uh, creating uh, brain phase coherence. Uh, we know that when a person wears a neural phone for uh, every day for an hour a day, after about seven weeks, their brain waves are virtually identical to a Tibetan monk who has meditated in a cave for 30 years. And That's a big statement, yeah. Yes, it is a big statement, and it's true. When I was 17, I lectured for the Mayo Clinic in uh, Rochester, Minnesota, and uh, the head guy there, his name was Dr. Steve Farian. He had brought a Tibetan monk uh, uh, over from, uh, from Tibet uh, by the name of Swami Rama, who became world famous because they tested his brain waves. And so uh, when I was 17, I lectured at the Mayo Clinic with 600 doctors. And then Dr. Farian asked me if, if he could look at my brain waves. And he looked at my brain waves, and I'd been using the Neurofone at that time for four years. And he said that my brain waves were virtually identical to Swami Rama's, who meditated in a cave for 30 years. And it was due to the Neurofone. The Neurofone has this effect. It's kind of a speed meditation device. And in today's world, we, we don't have 30 years, each of us. Uh, so we need something to, to enhance meditation, and that's what the Neurofone does. What kind of brain waves are we talking about here? We're talking about um, uh, powerful alpha rhythms, and we're also talking about, my, in my particular case, my brain was producing very powerful delta waves con constantly all the time, and it was producing uh, theta and, um, and uh, also alpha rhythms, and also something called high beta, which was 300 hertz brain waves, all going on at the same time. And, uh, and they were coherent, which means that the brain waves were, were phase coherent in the left and right sides of the brain, which is what everyone medita who is meditating is looking for. Mm. Mm. Uh, but maybe we don't know how you were born with what kind of, you know, you, do, you haven't measured that earlier on, though. Have you, have you measured it throughout the years since you've been using it now? And did you, are you seeing the difference? I mean, can you raise it? Can you push it even further? And is there maybe a limit there also, a healthy limit? Well, there certainly isn't an unhealthy limit. <laughs> and uh, I think the, the Neurofone, uh, we did a study way back. I developed a device called a, a Neural Efficiency Analyzer, which is used at West Point to um, uh, give uh, electronic IQ tests for uh, people coming into the military. It's a brainwave efficiency device. And we found out that if you wear the Neurofone for about an hour before you test a person's brain with the Neural Efficiency Analyzer, that their brain uh, IQ is very, very high, at least for a certain length of time after using the Neurofone. And so it tends to increase the efficiency of the brain. That's why the new Neurofone we call Neural Efficiency Optimizer. Mm, these are the ones, all right? Yes, this is uh, this is one of the um, the old ones uh, uh, made in Germany. It's called an NF3, and uh, they sell for about eight hundred dollars. But the new neural phone will be way beyond this and will retail for about uh, three hundred ninety nine dollars. Yeah. And uh, we're not going to see that at Staples, are we? Uh, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> Maybe someday. <laughs> So you place that here. Why is it just the front lobe and not the back one? Well, How does it work? How does the brain work? Tell us more about the brain. Yeah, you, you place these across the forehead like this. And, and when you turn it on, it transmits ultrasonic waves into the brain that are modulated by sound, music, or whatever you want to put into it. And it, it turns out that the, that the brain is, is a cavity that takes ultrasonic sounds 
uh, like and, and focuses the sounds into the third eye, the uh, third and fourth ventricles of the brain, and stimulates the third eye. So we've got something that um, that uh, increases neural efficiency, and it really doesn't matter. You can put them uh, a good place is, is where I put them, and you can also put them on, uh, you know, next to the ears on each side of the head. How about the back of the brain here and the uh, different other parts of the brain? How are they stimulated by that? Well, we, we can also place these uh, behind the neck like this, and it stimulates the whole brain from behind. And then you can wear it under your collar and wear it kind of uh, secretly. Yeah. And you can also be listening to music and no one can tell. Yeah. Yeah. But one hour a day is enough. Well, uh, the, the Would you use it all day long? Oh, yes. The in engineer in Germany, Hans Strobel, who developed this particular one, he wears it 24 hours a day, seven days a week. All he does is change the batteries, rechargeable. And he's been doing this for four years, and he said it has changed his life. And he is quite an awesome, amazing individual. And, um, Do you know in which way it changed his life? Do you know what are the, 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 the full benefits? Like, Can we talk about that? Well, he said it increases his, his, uh, his uh, energy, uh, that he uh, sleeps better, he dreams better, and um, and he even wears it while downhill skiing and also while bicycling and also while running. I mean, he's crazy about it. Uh, I don't think you have to wear it that much, but um, we, it turns out the more you wear it, the more effective it is. But we, we say a minimum of an hour a day. And, and you see great changes in brainwaves, even at, you know, one hour a day. Yeah. Is there some 